So I've already preloaded this bottle with two milliliters of one molar zinc acetate to preserve the sulfide. And then I labeled it, I'm filling it up to the, about halfway through the neck of the bottle because we're gonna try to get all the air bubbles out. So once it's full up to the brim, um, I'm going to grab a rubber stopper that's clean. And this bottle again is already preloaded with zinc acetate. I'm going to try to put the uh, needle into the rubber stopper and have it come out sort of towards the corner of the rubber stopper right near the edge um, so that any air that's trapped in there uh, will be able to be pushed out through the uh, needle as I'm inserting the gas tight um, lid. So I'll put that in. Kind of helps if you twist it a little bit. Um, not easy, and once it's starting to go in, then the trick is just to angle the bottle such that the air that's still in the bottle has a chance to escape out through the needle as you insert the uh, rubber stopper to basically purge all the gas that's present in the sample out through that needle. And it might be that a little bit of wastewater comes out too, but that's not a no problem. I'm just trying to make sure we don't allow any oxygen to stay in there that would compromise the. Is there a little bit of wastewater is coming out? Getting the last little bit of oxygen out. So then we should have a stable, once all the bubbles out, then we can carefully take out the needle. And there's no bubbles in there. So the zinc should preserve the sulfide in a way that we can uh, measure it, measure it later. Make sure I got the right sample. This is WSSD filtered influent. And um, just check to make sure there's no bubbles and I already preloaded the bottles with zinc so it should be preserved in a way that's stable. If we want to keep them um, secure we can also add a crimp cap lid and the top. I have a few of those here so we'll just put the lid on top. crimper to push down first and then squeeze so that uh, won't accidentally come off during storage.